Hey lovelies, welcome back to another video. And for today's video, I have a massive Ulta haul and I also have a lot of gratis in here as well that I have been just piling on that I finally need to show you guys because this bag is super full. Like it's insane how freaking heavy this bag is. My cat has also bitten into the bag, but this bag is so full and I need to be stopped because this is so much makeup and skincare, hair care. I got a little bit of everything and I'm so excited to show you guys. If you are definitely into Ulta hauls and just hauls in general, makeup, lifestyle, vlogs, all that good stuff, I am the right channel for you. Make sure you hit subscribe and hit the like button so I know to keep doing these videos for you guys. But oh my God, I need to get into this video because I'm so excited to dig into the new makeup. I am going to say that I dig dig in it a little bit here and there and grab some new like lip products and stuff here and there for videos. But other than that, I try to save as much as possible for this haul. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. And just like in every haul video that I do, I do always grab a drink. Today we're going to be doing a classic Diet Coke because I did drink a coffee this morning, but I feel like it didn't do anything to me. So I need to get some more energy and motivation to film today. And I also have to deep clean my house today and I have a lot of laundry. So lots to do. So I definitely need a little bit of something. First, we're going to go through some gratis and let me... <laughs> I am so excited. This is like one of the perks of working at Ulta. We do get contests a lot for certain brands or like a conversion contest, um, units kind of contest, anything like that. We got an Anastasia Beverly Hills makeup gratis bag filled with makeup because we sold a lot of Anastasia. And this is just full of stuff. So let me show you guys. Of course, we got the cute like matte bag. This bag is so cute. And in the bag, it is filled with so much stuff. We got a brow freeze gel. We also got a Anastasia Dewy Set setting spray. I've heard a lot of great things about that and I've definitely been into more dewy looks lately. We also got a full size of their newest highlighter. This is the Sun Idol or Idol um, Glow Seeker Highlighter. Super excited. If you guys haven't seen it, I am gonna open it so you guys can see. This is what the outside looks like, but it's heavy and this is really expensive as well but look how beautiful this shade is i am so excited to dig into this it also came with the mini soft glam 2 eyeshadow palette so excited about this i was going to buy it but i'm just so happy i waited because now i got it for free i also got one of the lip velvets this is actually one of my favorite shades and one of my most worn shades it's the pure hollywood shade it is beautiful it's the same iconic pure hollywood shade just in this formula and i love the lip velvets I really want them to come out with more shades because this formula is so good. If you want something matte but soft and like lightweight, you don't feel it and it lasts all day, this is it. We also got the liquid liner. I've never tried this before, so I'll definitely be trying that soon. And we also got a lash sculpt and a diamond lip gloss. I got the shade Honey Diamond. Ooh, it's a di literally a diamond kind of shade. I usually wouldn't wear something like this, but I feel like my mom would definitely like something sparkly like this. This was definitely one of the best things in Ulta is like winning contests like this and getting really good gratis. We won an Anastasia contest before and this gratis bag is literally the best prize because before it would just be like a bunch of brow freezes, which I don't use a brow freeze, so I'm probably not going to use the gel. But having all this variety of different ABH products is definitely like, it's definitely a win for sure. I got two more gratis bags in here, so I think I'm going to start with gratis first and then I'll move on to the things that I actually purchased. But we actually got a ton of fragrance as gratis because we finally got our fragrances locked up. Thank goodness because I was tired of people thieving all the time. So they are locked up and secured. So we were able to get some fragrances because it was the first time our store got them. And I got a few and I'm super excited to share them with you guys. So the first one I was excited about was this one from Dolce & Gabbana. It is the Blue Jasmine EDP fragrance. This is one of their newest fragrances and I've been wanting to try it. The only thing is we don't have a tester and I've really been wanting to try it. So I'm going to spray some and try it out. Oh, it's cute. It comes in like a little slidey box. It's I don't know if it's a spray. It is a spray. So let's try it on our arm real quick. I'm going to let it sink in a little bit, but I believe the notes are... oh. Jasmine, Cedarwood, and Sicilian Blue Fig. That sounds very fancy. It's very floral, and I could definitely smell the fig in there. This smells nice. And then I also got the Alien um, by Mugler. This is the Alien Hypersense. My favorite one is the Alien Goddess. That one was my favorite one. I did give it to my mom, but it is one of my favorite fragrances. So let's try this one, and hopefully I like it, because like the Mugler fragrances are always a hit and miss for me, personally. But let's see. Ooh, I love the packaging. 
The last two fragrances I got are both from Giorgio Armani. These are the Aqua de Geo. This one's the Aqua de Geo Profondo, and this one's the Aqua de Geo EDT. So these are both men fragrances. So I always try to grab one for Mark and see which one he likes, but I've never tried any of these two or smelled them before. This one always gets stolen, not gonna lie. So like I never get to smell it. So I'm excited for him to smell these and try them out. I'm actually gonna open it and see what they smell like. He smells really good in like clean, like fresh kind of scents is usually what smells really good on him. So let's see what these smell like. It smells, it smells fresh for sure with a little bit of musky, but not in like a spicy way. This one smells really good. I can't really smell this one, but I feel like this one smells a little bit clean as well. So I'm pretty excited about that one. My hand's getting itchy. Is my hand getting red? I feel like this one's getting a little itchy from the Dolce & Gabbana. I did just shave my arms today, so it might be a little bit sensitive. So I probably shouldn't have sprayed perfume, but I feel like it's getting a little red. And down to my last gratis bag. This first thing in here, I was so excited to get, not gonna lie, I li literally asked for this because I'm very sensitive when it comes to my bikini area. Like I have to use very sensitive um, like colloidal oil kind of like shaving lotion for my bikini area because it's so sensitive I get bumpies I get red it just I just get so irritated so I wanted to try this it's a new brand at Ulta that I've never tried before it's called Bush Balm this is a vegetal mask so it's like a cooling hydrogel mask for your bikini area and I'm so excited to use it it does only come with one but it has hyaluronic acid and aloe vera so again super excited to try this out because i'm very sensitive i feel like it's something that people are embarrassed to talk about or don't talk about very often how sensitive it can get down there so i'm excited to try it because i need this i love this and i'm not embarrassed about it it's just how my my body and my skin is so i'm excited to try this out and i did purchase something else from them as well which i'm going to show you in a second but i feel like this is going to be like a really good win in my life I also ended up getting the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. It's full size and I got the Translucent shade. I love the Laura Mercier powder. It is my OG powder. It is my go-to, my holy grail powder, which I am also wearing today and I love it so much. I never ever tried the Ultra Blur version. I get mixed reviews on how good or bad this is, so I don't really know. But being that I use the Ultra, the Laura Mercier Original Loose Powder, I feel like I'm going to be able to tell the difference and tell you which one is actually better. And I do have dry skin as well. And the original does have hyaluronic acid, so I feel like it's not so dry on me personally. So we'll just have to see if this one's good. I also got from Kristen S. This is the Scalp and Hair Milk Oil. It's a multi-use formula, oil balancing, instantly hydrating, shine enhancing, and scalp nourishing. I actually need to put this on today because my scalp, is literally about to fall off my head because it's so dry and like yesterday I had to use like actual dandruff shampoo to help kind of calm it down a little bit because I didn't have a scalp serum that is great for my colored hair but also that would actually nourish and help my dry scalp because I it's just too much so I'm excited to use this this sounds like it is definitely a soothing kind of hair oil it does have avocado oil, jojoba, coconut, and castor oil. So it sounds like it's definitely going to be really nourishing and it should help soothe and calm my scalp down because I've been, I've been going through it with my scalp lately. And I've been trying to avoid scalp scrubs as much as I can, but I feel like that's sometimes the only thing that gets rid of it. But at the same time, if I use too much of it, it irritates me. So this I am going to have high hopes for and hopefully it works out. I also got the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. I've heard great things about this. I am super excited. It did come, I don't remember with how many pads, but I've heard great things about it. I do have dry skin, so a little bit of exfoliation here and there is really good for my skin. And I've heard great things about Elemis, so definitely pumped about it. And down to the things that I personally purchased myself. The first is the Pokemon collection from ColourPop. I already did a video on TikTok about it already, kind of showing you what it is. But in case you guys don't follow me on TikTok, I'm going to show you guys here. But I got the entire collection. I bought everything. So... I spent lots of money on it, but I don't care. I love it. First thing we have is an eyeshadow palette. I feel like watching Pokemon and looking at Pokemon just reminds me of my childhood. Like I feel like I heal myself just a little bit looking at this collection, but it's a beautiful, super cute eyeshadow palette that I'm so excited to dig into. I didn't dig in it today because I really wanted to show you guys the palette, like the first look. It is gorgeous. I also did get the trio set of lip glosses with Evie's Original Evolutions. Super cute. They're really, really sparkly and shiny. Not really my kind of vibe with colors, but like I said, I wanted the entire collection anyway. So just to have it because it's so cute. And I grabbed all three shades of the uh, Super Shock Shadows. They have Squirrel, Bulbasaur, and Charmander. And look at these. They're so cute. The packaging of these is so cute. I am so excited to have these. Like, I don't even want to use these. Is that bad? Like, I want to, but at the same time, it's like, I just want them to stay 
in their packaging like forever. And I also had to get their berry mask. It's in the shape of a Pokeball. It's so cute. I was so happy. Look at it. Look at it. It's so cute. Like, I just keep looking at this collection as if I just bought it. Like, I can keep looking at it over and over. Like, I don't want to touch it. I did touch this, but it smells like Captain Crunch, by the way. Like, the berry mask, but this looks so happy. I also grabbed all three shades of their PH Balancing Lip Balms. They'll probably end up being a very similar shade on my lips. But that's not the point. The point is I wanted the whole collection. And this is so cute. They have Jigglypuff, Ditto, and Pikachu. They're so cute. In my TikTok, I opened the Ditto one. So in this one, I'll show you guys what Jigglypuff looks like. But basically, all the lip balms have the similar packaging like this. A nice little tube. And when you twist it up, this is basically what they look like. I just want to bite this. Like, it looks so cute. I don't want to touch it. I haven't swatched it yet, so I have no idea what it looks like. I really don't want to, like... I, I don't even know why I spent all this money if I'm not going to use it. I mean, I know why, but like, I, I can't. And then lastly, these have to be my favorite things about the collection, except for the eyeshadow palette. But they came out with cream blushes as well. We have Gengar, which is one of my top faves. We also have Pikachu and we have Clefable as well. They are so cute. Like, I love them. I'm going to show you guys really quickly what the shades look like. Again, I did show it on TikTok, but I want to show you guys on here too. I accidentally touched the Pikachu one a little bit, but this is basically what they look like. We have the Gengar one looks like this. And of course, the red one is Pikachu's cream blush. And then we have Clefables. I am so excited to use these. I think I have to do looks based on the cream blushes and just kind of go from there maybe on TikTok. I don't really know. But again, I don't want to touch them because I just want them to stay like this forever. Now we're going to go down to the rest of the stuff that I bought in this bag. We got an extra discount on a few fragrance brands. So one of them I got was Ariana Grande, the original Cloud. I do have the one ounce, but I get so many compliments when I wear Cloud. Like, it's crazy. I didn't think that Cloud would be the one to give me the most compliments. So I had to buy the big one because, I mean, if it gets you compliments, you got to keep your purchasing, right? And you just got to wear it because that's the point of a perfume, right? You want people to be like, wow, you smell really good. So this was one of them. I had to get the big girl. This was the other product from Bush Bomb that I was telling you guys about. I did purchase the Roller Rescue Soothing Serum. This one's supposed to improve the look of ingrown hairs, razor bumps, and redness. And it also has AHA, BHA, and it has a cooling steel applicator. I am so excited to use this. You have no idea. Again, I just have a major issue with my bikini area being red and inflamed all the time so i am so excited to use this basically just roll it on you know and it should help soothe it bring down the redness i do get a little bit of ingrown hairs here and there i mean that's just normal i'm a woman it is what it is i'm not perfect so this is definitely gonna help i'm really excited i can't wait to try this brand out because they have a really like great selection of stuff for your bikini area so i went to give this a go i also picked up one of the nars new powder blushes like new reformulated talc free version and i had to get the shade it is so freaking pretty like I, they're very expensive they're very expensive for powder blushes and i usually don't buy expensive blushes like this like but i had to buy it because look at this shade the shade is beautiful you can't tell me the shade isn't gonna be beautiful like, they're so nice. They feel super smooth to the touch. They have a lot of pretty shades. This one is in the shade Infatuated. I love this. It's so pretty. If you guys haven't gone and touched them in store, I definitely recommend. They are beautiful. And I've never owned a NARS blush before because, again, they're really expensive. But I just, I just had to get it. I had to get the shade. I also purchased two new brushes as if I need more brushes. I don't, but I like to have a variety of brushes. And these are both from Morphe and the Ariel collab. Ariel has his brushes now in singles rather than the big set. Now you can buy them singles. So I did purchase the blush brush and the signature cream contour brush. For drugstore, not gonna lie, these are pretty expensive for brushes. They were almost like $20 each, but that's okay because I heard great things about these brushes. But this one is the blush brush. Oh, they feel really nice. These are really long handles now that I look at it. They're really long, but I feel like for blush, they'll be so pretty. And then this is what the cream contour brush looks like. They're really soft. Like I can definitely tell how this is going to be a really nice contour brush because of the bristles and like the, the size of it. Like these are really nice brushes. I can definitely see why they were pricey. Still a little too pricey for a drugstore, but I can definitely see where they were going with it. I'm going to be putting these to the test soon because for that higher of a price point in the drugstore, these better do some magic. 
I also bought two of these um, Clean It Zero cleansing balms. I love the pink one. The pink one has been my go-to. I've been loving it. I buy the big one every single time. That's the best way for me to take off my makeup is using my cleansing balm. And I actually have been really loving this one. That's why I bought two because this one's really nice. This one's the Ceramide one. It's the Firming Cleansing Balm. When I use this one, my face just feels like more like soft. I can't explain it like versus the pink one. The pink one feels nice, but this is the feeling and texture of this one's a little bit different when you apply it on the face. So I like how this one feels better, but they both take off my makeup just as good. Just I feel like the feeling of this one's a little bit nicer. So I had to grab two. Got some new lip combos because I do a lot of lip combo videos on TikTok and Instagram Reels. So I want to grab some new lip products to try out. I grabbed the Maybelline Plump Lip Gloss. I've never tried these before, but I love how pretty the shade is. This is the shade Coco Zing. It's just a really pretty, like, brownish color. It's supposed to be a little bit on the plumpy side. Like, look how pretty that is. I think this will be even pretty, like, on top. Let me try a little bit. I really like this color. It reminds me a little bit of, like, the Fenty glosses, which I'm going to show you in a second. But these are supposed to be really spicy. But I just like it for the color. I really love this. I don't really care for the plumping effect. I don't really look at glosses for that. Nor am I a fan of the plumping, but I just had to get the color. Like, I don't even care. I love this color. I've been looking at it since it came out, so I'm happy I got it. And then I also got to redeem my birthday gift, so I did get a Fenty Gloss Balm, and they were giving away the color Fenty Glow. I don't have this color, nor did I ever be interested in this color, only because I feel like it's really warm. I don't know. I love Fenty Glosses. I have so many. I never owned this one. But she has really good glosses, so I was like, why not? I feel like maybe with like a darker nude or like a chocolatey kind of lip with this on top would look really pretty. But basically, it's just really warm and orangey for me, but I feel like I can try to find a way to balance this out. Another lipstick that I grabbed is actually from Clinique. I know I said everything about Clinique. I was talking about the skincare. I've never tried the makeup before. Have I? No, I've tried mascaras before. I'm not the fan of the mascaras. But they reformulated and repackaged their original lipstick. So I definitely want to try. Oh, my lips are on fire. So I wanted to try this color. And it just looks so pretty. Like, I'm going to show you right now how pretty this color is when I swatch it. This is the packaging right here. It lo looks like their new mascara kind of packaging, that one green one. But this color was calling my name. It is so pretty. Like, I don't think I own a color like this. Maybe I do. But it's just like definitely like a Yasmin color. This is definitely my kind of color. It is gorgeous. It's a matte lipstick. I had to get it. It's beautiful. It's like a purpley brown. I don't know. I just, I, did, I needed it. I had to get it. I also picked up one of the new shades in the Fenty Glow Demi Glow highlighters. Do I need another highlighter? No, and I did purchase this before we got our Anastasia gratis, so now I'll definitely have a lot of highlighter. But did you guys hear the highlighters coming back as a trend? Because I love highlighter. I always wear it when, you know, when I do a full look. Even when I want a little bit of something, I wear highlighter. I have not stopped wearing highlighter. I love it. And I can tell the difference when my makeup looks bland and boring when I don't wear it. Like, I would rather wear highlight than blush, not gonna lie. But look how pretty this is. Like, it looks really simple and boring here, maybe, but I love the packaging, super cute, but literally when you swatch this, it feels like butter. Like, I love this glow. It's gonna be, like, subtle, but still, it like, gives a nice little soft radiance, but it's not chunky or sparkly. Like, I love this. This is gonna look really pretty, like, definitely smooth to the touch, and you can probably use it as, like, a little bit of an eyeshadow or, like, putting it in the inner corners of your eyes um, under your, your brow bone. I'm gonna put this everywhere. I'm so excited. Actually, I have one more thing. I forgot that I purchased one of the new shades from NYX. It is the Buttermelt Blush. And let me tell you, these blushes, I thought were going to be like powdery. But when it says Buttermelt, it's not, it's not lying. It literally feels like butter. And it's so nice. I grabbed the shade Soft Mauve. This was like the prettiest shade to me for my complexion and what I like in a blush. So this is super pretty. If you guys haven't touched these, you definitely need to try them out because they look so, so nice. They feel really good and I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it. I've been trying to buy the Butter Bronzer for a while too, but they keep running out of the shade that I like because a lot of them do pull off really warm, but one of the shades kind of hits like a contour slash bronzer shade, which is personally what I really like. I like a more neutral kind of undertone bronzer so i can't wait to try it hopefully it comes in stock soon because i want to buy it but i'm definitely gonna try this little combo soon and see if it works out but definitely grab one of these they're i think they're like only 12 dollars for how smooth this blush feels like it doesn't feel powdery like a lot of blushes would so i can't wait to try it 
And that was it for this time's Ulta haul and gratis haul. I hope you guys did enjoy and saw a lot of fun new stuff that's coming to Ulta. And I hope you guys do enjoy these kinds of videos. I do try to do them as often as I can, but I do try to accumulate as much of new products, interesting products you guys might be interested at looking at. And of course, showing you guys my gratis and some perks of working at Ulta. And I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys want to see any of these new products in action, I definitely do a lot more trying makeup out on TikTok, which you can follow me on there. I'll go ahead and leave it down below. But I also do a few like get ready with me's and chit chat videos on here. So if you guys want to see one soon, I'm pretty sure somebody asked me to do like a shop my stash. So I'll probably be doing that soon as well. But I think that's everything for me. Thank you guys, of course, for watching all of my videos and sticking to the end. I really do appreciate you guys so, so, so much. And I think that's everything for me. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.